All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are on the creek again today, uh, throwing around some more lures that I haven't thrown yet. This bluegill glide. I actually threw it when the water was muddy. It didn't do too good, but water's nice and clear. Uh, big, small, I should be able to see that really well and hammer it. Also have on the big 110 uh, size whopper plopper here. And that baby bass color, I think it's called, so. Try to get on some good top water smallies today, and uh, also try to get on uh, some glide bait eaters today. Also have the mag slow if uh, things aren't panning out for us, but I'm gonna wait a long ways today, wait till dark, definitely have rain in the area, so I might be seeing some rain here. Might take a little cover. Hopefully not, but it's looking pretty nasty. It's supposed to say to the north of me, but you know how the weathermen are. They're usually not very right, especially here within the last two weeks, they've been pretty terrible, so. But that is the plan today. Going to knock out a couple miles here in the creek and see if we can't find a couple big ones. Throwing big baits again. Last year I threw a lot of Ned Rig, Jig, small swim bait, stuff like that. And this year I've been focusing on uh, some big baits. I've been very fortunate to catch a lot of big fish this year already. So uh, that is the plan. This is actually a custom painted bluegill glide too by Council Bluffs. And I will link them, link them down below. And uh, you guys can go check them out and have yourself some custom baits painted up. But that is, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go knock some couple miles out and see what we can get into. Got him. have my camera on and I just smacked a nice large mouth on the whopper popper looked like it was a mating pair there's a bigger one over here I don't know if it'll hit or not but there's a good large mouth to start the day off oh my god this one's bigger There's one that's about two pounds bigger. Oh, he's following it, he's following it. Oh my gosh. If this thing hits it, I'm gonna crap my pants. I have to remember that spot from the way, way back down. Well, that was insane. That is how you start off a creek wading trip there. Sorry, I didn't have the camera rolling. I did not expect that. Guess I'll leave my camera rolling the whole time then. I was trying to conserve some battery. There was a pretty good chance of rain all day, but they took it out. So I had to charge my batteries at work and everything. So I was trying to conserve some. Ended up costing me an awesome clip. A big largey. That would have seriously been one of the most epic eats I've had on film. See how he hit it and missed it and I stopped it for him. Oh yes. Oh 
Oh baby, on the whopper plopper. Guys, when they hit and miss this whopper plopper, stop it and just pop it a little bit for them. They'll usually hammer it again. He got a big old lump right here on him. It's weird. There we go, on the plopper. Whew. They're gonna be munching this thing today. It's gonna be a good day. A lot of these times, I think what these fish, fish do is hit it and try to like knock it silly or something. But after they do that, you stop it and kind of pop it. And I think they think that they injured it. So then they really come back and hit it good. Or they think it's not very lively anymore, so they actually eat it, eat it. They don't just try to knock it again. Like bass up here eating some bait fish. I don't think he was real big. Let's see if he'll bite. Probably just a little large mouth. Oh, we did it. <laughs> uh, that's a it's a little smolly. He's up there chasing bait fish around. I seen him making a commotion. Cast it over there. I can't resist it. Thing whopper ploppers float because I just broke it off. Broke it off on a tree branch that fell into the water. Thankfully they float. So I don't have another one came with me. Tie this back on and we'll get back to work. I don't know about this lure. I might have to get the mag slow out. Not really. Not really wanting this. It's not seeming like they really want the whopper plopper either. Doesn't seem like they want. Doesn't seem like they want the whopper plopper. Just kidding. He's a smaller one. <laughs> right when I said they don't want it, it gets freaking annihilated. Right, another little smally. Oh, that's a big miss. Just had a real big fish miss it. <laughs> There's one. Get out of the trees. Get out of the trees. Oh, stay on there, please. He's not hooked very good. Oh, he's not hooked good at all. Oh my gosh. He's gonna come off. Oh, there he goes. 19, 20 incher. God, I could not keep him from jumping. I got him in those trees. I just could not. I ripped most of the hooks out trying to get him out of the trees and then I knew if he gave me a jump he was going to be gone. Dang it! There it was. There was the big fish of the freaking day maybe. I was trying to keep him down. I had enough line reeled up where I could just swing him over to me and grab him. But there's no way. I knew he was going to jump once he got over here in the shallow water. I should have just let him do whatever he wanted and just followed him around, I guess. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Freaking giant. Oh, 
whopper plopper a kiss for me. Some good luck. Because this battery is the one where we're going to get it done. There's one, another one. Come off. Little one hit it. Need one about three pounds heavier to do that. I threw this gill glide around a little bit. But there's one. It's gonna come off probably. Another little guy. But like I was saying, I threw this gill glide around a little bit, but it sinks pretty quick. I'm going to have to throw that on a lake or something. It sinks a little too fast for this creek here. It, re it's re it really wants to glide, so I can't really just like reel it fast and keep it off the bottom. That bait's meant to, that bait is meant to glide back and forth. Oh. I cannot keep these fish on. This whopper plopper can go straight to hell. <sighs> see how good this bait truly is. You guys have seen me catch a lot of fish on it this year already. But I just threw around two other baits for two hours. Let's see how good this bait really is. I can't believe she didn't commit. That was a big fish. Came all the way out for it. Out of this brush. Just wouldn't commit to it. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh my God, that was insane. I wish you guys could have seen that. Oh my god. That was the most insane eat I've ever seen. All right, this fish was following it. I paused it, had the bait laying on the ground, I twitched the bait, and it just freaking lunged and destroyed this bait. Oh my gosh, what a beast. We're gonna get a measurement on this one. This one might go 20. Let's see what we can get her to go. Looky there, right at 20. Boom, just touching the 20. Yes, sir. Another 20 incher falls victim to the mag slow. That fish was tucked way up in that brush right there. Followed it all the way out to right here in the gravel. I stopped it, it was following it, following it like it wanted to eat it. I would have got the bait back too soon before it would have ate. So I stopped it, sat it on the bottom. And uh, a lot of times they'll lose interest when you do that, but this one didn't and it sat there staring at it. So I just gave it a twitch and it boom, freaking hammered it. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this lure. This is like my number one confidence bait. I'm having a hard time catching fish or getting a big fish to bite. I'm busting this thing out every time. At least the splash it made was big. I know that much. I thought it was a dang giant. No, that was him. Oh my gosh. That was a giant. Oh, there's one. 
came out of nowhere. I've never even seen this fish. <laughs> See, not all giants eat this thing. Some normal ones eat it. There we go. Oh, <clears throat> hit my leg. I was sitting here looking upstream. Never even seen that fish. He wasn't too keen on eating it though. Did a big meal for him. Just missed a big fish. No. I watched him the whole way. He didn't he didn't stop. He just went straight for it. Freaking annihilated it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was like, oh yes, yes, yes. And he come off like no, he st I still see him. All right, <clears throat> missed a really big blow up here on the Walker Popper. See if the magic mag slam. I can't force him out to eat. Oh my gosh. It's just not my day. It is just not my day and these fish just will not stay on. That was him probably. The big fish. These fish are having commitment issues today. Very much so. See, I got him at the top of the mouth. I'm just swiping at it. That's what I've had a few bites from here recently. Why well, I think I haven't hooked him. All right, that is going to do it for today. I'm running out of daylight. I'm going to fish the rest of the way down. If I catch something good, I'll definitely share it with you guys. But uh, the old tried and true so, uh, mag slow does it again 20 inches, man. I cannot believe this lure. Lost some good ones on the Whopper Flopper too. I actually lost some good ones on the Mag Slow too today. Uh, they're just not eating very good. That's my conclusion today. Uh, obviously, some of them committed and ate good, but a lot of these fish just aren't really eating too well. Uh, through that big Mag or that uh, gill glide around, but it was a little too heavy. It sank a little too fast for this creek, so. Uh, I'll probably get some different glides that actually hang in the water column a little better and try those out But if you guys enjoyed catching these big smallies here in these creeks like this Do me a favor hit that sub down below and uh, give this video a like But that is all the time I have for today. I got to get up and get out of here And I will catch you all in the next one